Hi, what's up, everyone? Since I published my video about making iOS apps with cursor and AI, a lot of people are asking a lot of interesting questions. One of them is, can we build an Android app with cursor and AI as well? Um, honestly, I haven't had any experiences building Android app. It's going to be a very you know new experience for me as well. So I downloaded the Android Studio. You know, we're gonna to try to build the Android app with Cursor and AI today, following the exact same step as we build the iOS app. So let's see how it works. Um, <clears throat> so we're in Android Studio now. And maybe we we'll just do a empty activity. Let's do a Android Bubble. Um, it's gonna be the same Bubble application we built in iOS. So it generates a template project. Kotlin, um, and let's see if I can run it on a simulator. Okay, we have a simulator here. It says, hello, Android. Change this to hello, Bubble. Would that work? I'm going to refresh it. So it does take a little, little bit longer than Xcode when refreshing the app. Okay, so <clears throat> we have a sample application created on Android Studio. Let's head over to Cursor to open up the called Android Bubble. Uh, we're gonna open it with Cursor. So let's cr start cr by creating a Cursor rules file. And then we head over to cursor.directory for Android and Colin. We have our files here. We'll just copy it, send it to here. All right. Okay, we have the cursor rules files here. Looks good. And then we're going to head over to cursor settings. Make sure. The file is in sync with the Android Studio. It's enabled. So here I've added two cursor documents. One is the Kotlin coding guideline and the Android design guidelines. Um, <clears throat> so if you're interested, these are the URLs. I'm gonna attach this to the video description later. Um, and now we are ready to start Ask cursor to code first all right okay let's go back to the enjoy main activity file all right and then we're gonna instruct cursor to follow kotlin and android design guideline um, and then we're gonna use the same <coughs> exact same prompt when we're creating the iOS bubble app, I'm just replacing iOS with Android here. Everything else is the same. I'm gonna copy this. Again, I'm gonna create a two screen app. The first screen is to, um, we'll show a clickable bu a bubble floating on the screen. And you, when you click on it, it will burst. And then a new bubble will show up. And then you just need to chase the new bubble and click on it and see it burst. And there's a setting screen that allows us to control how fast the bubble moves and the size of the bubbles. All right, let's see if Cursor can use this magic to create this app first. Let's go and go ahead and hit on send. And I'm going to accept all the changes. And then let's head back to Android Studio. Refresh the app. Oops. All right. <clears throat> so there's some errors here.
All right, couldn't make it work. So um, let's do this all over again, right? So, but this time I'm gonna use a different prompt. So besides the prompts you used previously, we just add one line here. Do not touch the default dependency management and project settings of Android Studio. All right. <clears throat> so we don't, hopefully we don't run into this kind of like weird dependency issues again. All right. In the Android Studio, let's create a new project. Copy the prompt here. Do not touch anything. Just build it up, All right? And let's hit on send. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, looks like all changed. <clears throat> Accept all the changes, come back to Android Studio. Let's try to build it. Okay, there's an error here. The two errors, let's just copy everything to cursor. Right. Does it work? And then rebuild it. Roll it. Okay, works now. Where's my bubble? Oh, here it is. Here you are. Where are you? Just make it really, really large. Hey, I'm here. Come back. All right. So the couple of lessons we learned uh, in the prompt when you are building Android app, you have to specify and instruct cursor do not touch any project settings or dependency management and always keep the latest document um, in, in, in cursor so it follows the best practices of using any experimental or deprecated features um, i guess we're going to try to make an android video again just make it smoother but just on the surface of it uh, looks like it's really hard um, at least much harder than building an iOS app using cursor. All right, that's it for today. Um, I'm gonna figure out how to make make Android app building easier with cursor. Um, so stay tuned. Please comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.